Hi there, my name is Damien Bird. Um, today I'm going to do a demonstration um, using Power Automate and the uh, list you can see here or the table you can see here on Excel. I'm going to look at the most efficient way to perform a union, an accept and an intersect operation which are commonly used to combine or exclude similar rows from two tables. I aim to demonstrate this without the use of any apply to each operations and show you the most efficient way. So in this particular example here, you can see I have a table in, in Excel. These could be two columns in a SharePoint list, for instance, or uh, two separate data sources. Um, in the two columns here, the first one is names list one, which is a list of 12 different boys names. And in, in my second column, I've got six boys names, which appear in the first list, and then six girls names, which don't appear in the first list. So over to my uh, Power Automate, which I've already built, I have the get table action, which will retrieve the two columns from my table, we just demonstrated. Then, I have a select action where I take the value from the get table and using the mapping function, I return a, a, an array of all the names from the first column. Similarly, with the list to select action, I have again used the value from the get table action and returned the names list to column as an array. So the first uh, action I have here performs the union expression, and this is a, a built-in expression. And you can see there, I've included <clears throat> the body list one and the body list two, which are the outputs from these two composers. Uh, the result from this uh, union, you'd expect to receive 18 individual names with the 12 boys from the first list and then the six girls from the second list. With the list one except list two, you'd expect the six unique boys from the first list to be returned. Again, I'm using a select action, taking the output from list one and doing a comparison on the list two to ensure that it does not contain the items in the output of list one. Just like list two in reverse, I have the list two except list one where we make sure that we return the results of the second column. So here we have the, the from taking the list to body this time round. And with the select statement here, we are ensuring that the output from this second list is not contained within the first list. The result of this particular uh, select, we would expect to return the six unique girls names. And then finally, the intersect, which again is another inbuilt expression within Power Automate. We compare list one with list two, and we'd expect to return the six names that appear in both lists. So now I'm gonna move on to testing my Power Automate to demonstrate the results. So as you can see, the Power Automate runs incredibly fast. This is a very efficient way to compare data sets within Power Automate with no need for any apply to each functions. The longest action on here is actually retrieving the two columns from my Excel table. So we can see, if I have a quick look at the outputs, all of my uh, results here. If I return back to the Power Automate and we look at list one, we can see that we've neatly returned a list of the 12 names in an array. Similarly, with list two, we have returned the 12 names, which include the girls in amongst them. So if we now look at the union, we would expect the output to contain all 18 names, including the six girls' names which you see there at the end of our array. If we looked at the except example, we would expect the six boys 
to be returned that are not in the right hand column but are in the left hand column and here we have Brenton, Connor, Dane. If we look at the Excel sheet here we have Brenton, Connor, Dane who do not exist in the right hand column. Similarly if we look at the list 2 except list 1 we would expect the six girls names to be returned as again if we look at the example in Excel we have the six girls here who exist in the right column but don't exist in the left column. And then finally if we looked at the intersect example we have a list of six boys names and they exist in both the left hand column and the right hand column. So if we look at Jimmy and Casson and we look at our Excel sheet you'll see that Jimmy and Casson exist in both lists. I hope you've enjoyed my demonstration. If you want to get in contact please leave comments below or contact me on social media DamoBard365 and uh, make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.